Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, Osman. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, fun. Perfect. So, well, guys, welcome. Hello, Lisette. So, guys, today is the last class, as you know, right? So, today we finish, but we are going to finish, you know, the platform, the module, and all the exercise, right? So, at the end of the class, well, we are going to, you know, make the exam. Because, guys, the exam must to be finished, okay, today, okay? Because tomorrow, they are going to check the exam, okay? Tomorrow, we are going to check it, and we are going to see who is going to pass, you know, to the next module, okay? So, chicos, hoy vamos, you know, es la última clase y vamos a finalizar, right? Vamos a realizar así mismo el examen y vamos a chequear unas cosas, okay, que tenemos pendientes, right? So welcome everybody, welcome. So guys, let me, you know, share you for you. What do we have for tonight? So guys, <clears throat> welcome. Uh, let me see, let me share you this part for you. So guys, as you see, this is the exam that we have, right? This is the one. So if you see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six, you know, um, quizzes that we have to complete, right? In this part of the exam. So the first one, guys, is this one, right? But first of all, let me ask you something. Who, um, bueno, chicos, uh, este es el examen, right? Es el que debemos de completar today because tomorrow, well, today is the due date, right? El examen tiene que estar finalizado para el día de hoy, right? Because tomorrow van a revisar, okay? Van a revisar. Eh, las notas y todo lo que hemos estado realizando durante um, este periodo, right? So, well, now let's see what do we have for tonight, okay, guys? So, let's see. We have this exercise. So, I want everybody, primero quiero que todo el mundo tengamos abierta la plataforma, right? He de tenerla abierta porque vamos a estar resolviendo unos ejercicios, ¿ok? So I want everybody to have it open. Aquí quiero todo el mundo que la tenga abierta, ¿ok? La, la plataforma. So let's see some any. Ok, let me share you the screen, guys. Ok, uh, here I have it. So here, guys. So first of all, I have here a conversation for you, ¿ok? For tonight. Es una conversación que ya la habíamos realizado antes, guys. But let me see. Let me see if some of you remember this. So, let's see. Uh, I'm going to choose some of you guys. So, uh, well, Osman, Osman and Lisette, if you can help me with this, please. Osman, you're going to be Adam and Lisette, Amanda, okay? So, let's see, guys. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Uh, Lisa, the microphone. Ah, sí, perdón. Mm, how a book song the sandwich? Sandwiches, okay. Okay. Sandwich. Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we know how we only only kiss okay cheese 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 pardon do you have any drinks no we need the some all right let's get some lemonade Uh, let's boo down the potato salad. Potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Sure. Every like potato salad. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. 
Okay, guys, so um, let's see. We have this conversation here. So I'm going to repeat for you so you can, you know, know what is the correct pronunciation, okay? So let's see. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad, okay? Like this one. So guys, uh, do you have any question about this conversation? There is any word that you don't know or that you don't understand? Alguna palabra o algo que ustedes no entiendan aquí? Yes, no? Or do you understand the conversation? Entendemos toda la conversación, chicos. Everything is clear. Yes, no? Okay, so we, yeah. don't, have, we don't have any question. Perfect. So, guys, we are going to make, you know, a review about, you know, some topics that we have seen. Okay, vamos a ver un review de unos topics que hemos visto, okay? So, guys, tenemos some and any, count and now count nouns. So, recordamos de esto, guys. Recordamos any and some, right? So, let's see. Um, ¿Cuándo utilizábamos any, chicos? A ver quién se acuerda. When do we use any? For questions. Questions, perfect. And what else? For yeah, exactly. For questions and negative. Perfect. So let me share you guys, you know, something that I have here for you. So this is a link. Okay, so I have here, guys. Aquí tenemos, you know, uh, some, right? Tenemos some. It says we use some in positive sentences, okay? Some, okay? Some. No digan some, es some, okay? Sin la E al final. So, ocupamos some para positive sentences, right? For example, we cooked some cookies. Cocinamos algunas galletas, right? And we have any. Any, we use any in negative sentences and questions, como ustedes mencionaron, right? So, for example, she didn't send any messages. Ella no envió ningún mensaje. Have you got any brothers or sister? Tienes algún hermano o hermana, okay? Questions, right? And as well, we have here. Can I have, well, this one is this. We use some in questions when we are asking for something or when we are offering something, okay? Bueno, some, chicos, también lo podemos utilizar, okay? In questions, pero solo cuando estamos preguntando por algo, okay? Estamos pidiendo, pidiendo algo ofreciendo algo. Por ejemplo, can I have some tea? Puedo tener un poco de té, ¿ok? Can I have some tea? Estoy, estoy pidiendo por el té, right? Estoy pidiendo. Would you like some tea? ¿Ok? ¿Te gustaría un poco de té? Aquí estoy ofreciendo, ¿ok? But it's most commonly, es más común ocupar any, ¿ok? Any va a ser para cualquier pregunta, ¿ok? Pero some solo va a ser si estamos pidiendo algo, ofreciendo algo, okay? So let's see, uh, let me explain you, you know, more here. So welcome for the ones that are joining. Uh, sorry, this is not the one. Um, let me share you here. Uh, here I have it, okay? So guys, we have some any, right? So tenemos un ejemplo. Do we need any eggs? You see, do we need any eggs? ¿Cómo podemos responder? Yes, let's get some eggs. Aunque yo haya preguntado con any, chicos, como recordemos que some es para algo positivo, right? Vamos a decir, yes, let's get some eggs. Pero si decimos algo negativo, vamos a utilizar any. Entonces, si me hacen una pregunta así, no, we don't need any eggs, okay? Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some, okay? And now we can see here count nouns. Ok, los sustantivos contables, count nouns. Tenemos an egg, un huevo. Eggs, huevos, right? 
a sandwich, um sandwich, sandwiches, ok? You see? And no count nouns, tenemos bread and lemon, ok? Los que no son contables, por ejemplo, la limonada, usted no la puede contar, right? No puede contar la limonada, ni, si, ni el pan, right? And we have here another examples, like I'm eating an egg, estoy comiendo un huevo, let's get some bread, ok? So now, guys, let me move on. Uh, les había pedido que tuviéramos abierto la plataforma, right? So now, guys, you know, uh, let me move on. But let's see, I have here, you know, some exercises. So let's see if we got it. Let's see. Okay. So, guys, tenemos estos ejercicios, okay? What do you think is the correct answer? It's some or any. Are there grapes? Some or any, guys? Yes? Any. Any, perfect. And this is countable or uncountable? Las uvas son contables or no contables, chicos? Yeah? Contable. Contable. Yeah, contable. contable. Perfect. Now, yes, any. Now let's see the next one that we have. Let's see. There is meal and the fridge. Okay, so this one, guys. Some or any? Some. 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 Perfect. And we are talking about the meal, okay? The meal is countable or uncountable? Contable. 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 La leche es contable, chicos. Si usted tiene la leche así, es contable. Contable. Son contable. Perfect. Now let's see. Okay, this one. There aren't eggs at home. Some or any, guys? Some. Any. 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 Okay, any. any. And this is countable or uncountable? Eggs plus huevos? Countable. Countable. Contable. Perfect. Because it's negative, it's any, right? Perfect. Now let's see. I don't have money. What do you think? I don't any. have money. Any. Perfect. Any. Yes. And money is countable or uncountable, guys? Contable. Con no, it's contable, right? El dinero. Usted puede contar el dinero. Perfect. Now, let's see. He doesn't have friends. Okay, that's sad. So, what do you think? Some or any? Any. 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 And friends, los amigos son contable or uncountable? Contable. Contable. Perfect. Suena raro, but los amigos son contables, right? So perfect, yeah. Now let's see. Let's have the last one. Okay, let's see. This one. There are parrots in the cage. Okay. Pericos, right? Parrots. Some or any? Any. Some. Some. Okay. Some. So some. And parrots are countable. Los pericos son contables, son uncountable. Contable. Countable, perfect. Some nice guys. So now let's see. Let me you know, share you something else that I have here for you. So let's move on. So, guys, now you know, let me share you this part for you. Okay, so we have these sentences here. Okay, so it says there aren't oranges in the fridge. What do you think? Any. Okay. Any. Perfect. Now, this one. There are books in my bag. Some. Um, some, some books in my bag. Perfect. Now, guys, let's see. Let me move on. So, here, let's move on to this part, okay? So everybody, please, if you're in the platform, let's move on to the, you know, the, the exam, okay? Vamos al examen, chicos. 
Vámonos al segundo ejercicio del examen, please. The second one. Please, the second one. So the second one is this one, right? So we have some or any, right? So we have this part. You see, we have Amanda and Eva, right? So in this case, guys, you are going to show if it is any or some, okay? Aquí vamos a escoger si son some or any, okay? But let me ask you, how many of you have finished the exam or have tried? ¿Quiénes de ustedes um, no sé si han empezado el examen o no yet? ¿Quiénes de ustedes ya iniciaron o terminaron el examen? Nobody? Yes, I finished the exam. Okay, well, eh, finish. no, no puedo entrar al examen, teacher. Really, why? Do you have any... Es el último, el último, acaba el último, el último de los últimos, ya. Es el section 5 en the exam. Oh. Exactly this one, okay, aquí chicos, okay. This is a final exam, seis preguntas, okay. That one. Okay. Si tienes algún inconveniente, George, please let me know, okay. Me escribes y me va una foto si tienes un error, okay. So guys, now let's see. Besides Eulise, uh, are you master me know your exam or no? No? I finished teacher. Okay, Jessica, yeah. Daniel. Okay, Jessica. Okay. Okay. Irvin. Okay. Irvin. Okay. Okay, so some of you have finished. Okay. That's great, guys. Perfect. So, well, now um, what I'm going to do, guys, is that I'm going, you know, for guys, this I'm exercise, going, let's see. For this uh, exercise, vamos a ver. Uh, uh, no pude entrar, teacher. Oh, really? Okay, George. Uh, ¿Cuál es el problema que tienes? Eh, necesito que me envíes una foto, George, please. Así puedo reportarlo, okay? De que no tienes acceso, okay? Okay. okay. But let's see. Let's move on then, guys, because some of you finished. So let's see. We have this one. Adam, we have a lot of tomatoes. So for the ones that finish, que ya terminaron, ¿cuál es este, chicos? Is any or some? Some. 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 No, perfect. ¿Por qué some, chicos? Explain me this one, please. Because it's affirmative. It's affirmative. Perfect. Now we have this one. Okay. Do we have lemon? It's any or some? Any. any. Why is any? ¿Por qué es any? It's for questions. It's a question. Perfect. Now we have this one. Do we need to buy? We need to so buy. some or any? Some. Why is some? some? ¿Por qué some? Aquí se dice no. ¿Por qué some? Porque luego de no va una afirmación. Exactly, exactly, perfect, yes. Now we have this one. Amanda, we need lettuce too. Any or some? Some. some. Perfect. Now we have this one. Oh, I don't want lettuce. Any or some? Any. Nice. Any. Now we have this one. That let's get olives. Any or some, guys? Olives. Some, some, some. some, perfect. No, I don't want olives. Any or some? Any. 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 But let's Any. put cucumber in it. Any or some? Some. some. Perfect. Some. So then let's see. We got it, guys. Okay, you see here. So we have this, right, guys? So for the ones that hasn't finished, para los que no habían terminado, so this is the way that we can do it, okay? Esa es la forma en la que podemos hacer, okay? So guys, let me ask you something. Besides that, do we have any question about some or any? Cuando utilizamos some or any? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Yes or no? Yeah? No. Okay, very nice, guys. Very nice. So, yeah. No. Okay, so perfect. So now, guys, let me move on. Let's see. Let me share you this. So, guys, remember, this is a review, right, for tonight. So we have this one. Do you remember when we were talking about adverse of frequency that you say, I always do exercise. I usually do exercise. You know, like 
something like this, that you can make, you know, this kind of question, right? So we have first, how to create a sentence, right? So in order to create a sentence, guys, let me make it here for you. So we have first subject, right? Subject plus the adverb of frequency, right? Adverb of frequency plus a verb, right? And plus you can add a complement, right? So for example, guys, we have it, um, I, right? I, then we use an adverb of frequency that here you have the list, right? From always that is at the top and never that is on the bottom, right? I, for example, I never, okay? Never, right? Adverb of frequency. Then a bear, right? I never, let's see, do. Do an accompaniment exercise, okay? You see? Like this, right? So this is how we do it, right? So now, let me move on, okay? So we have this one. Uh, well, this chart, right? First of all, look at this chart, okay? So always is 100%, right? Usually 90%, often 70%, sometimes 50%. And we have here some of that is not in the list, right? We have seldom, que es raramente, right? Rarely, occasionally, and never, right? Never, it's always at the end. So now here I have some questions. So let me ask some of you, you know, so let's see, um, Jessica, Jessica, tell me, what do you eat for lunch? Um, I eat mm -hmm. and pupusas. <laughs> okay, now Jessica, perfect. Now I need you to use this adverse of frequency, okay? How often do you eat pupusas? Tell me. Usually. Okay, I usually eat pupusas. I, I usually, yeah. <laughs> Okay, perfect, very nice. Now let's see, let's choose some of you. So Maritza, Maritza, tell me, what do you eat for dinner? I eat... Mm -hmm. <laughs> No <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you can tell me eggs if you eat a scramble eggs. You can tell me uh, hamburger, noodles, um, and beans, <laughs> frijoles, right? Or soup, sopa. I don't know. So tell me in Spanish if you can, if you not, if you don't remember, you can tell me in Spanish. I eat cereal con leche. <laughs> Ah, cereal. Um, you can say cereal. Cereal with milk. Usually. Okay. So I usually eat cereal with milk. Repeat, Maritza. I usually mm -hmm. eat cereal uh, milk. With milk. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. So... Well, now let's see, uh, let's ask the last one. So uh, I'm going to ask, let's see, Marvin. Marvin, tell me, what is, well, tell me your daily routine, please. Yes, Marvin. I, I go to work. I go to work, perfect. What else? Um, I have breakfast. I have breakfast, and what else? Yes, Marvin. Yes, uh, I guess. Yeah. Besides breakfast, uh, you take a shower, you get dressed. I take a shower. Okay, and tell me, what do you do at night? ¿Qué haces en la noche? Um, I cook dinner. Okay, I cook dinner, perfect. 
Now, uh, well, thank you, Marvin. Now let's see, guys, uh, besides the adverb of frequency, besides this rule, aparte de esta regla de cómo crear una oración, chicos, también tenemos sometimes, okay? Sometimes, que es a veces, right? Sometimes puede ir as well at the beginning, right? Puede también ir al principio de una oración, right? So, for example, you can say sometimes I eat pupusas, right? Or you can I say I sometimes eat pupusas, okay? So, both are correct, okay? Ambas están correctas, okay? Pueden decirlo de las dos maneras, okay? So, now, guys, perfect. Now, let's see. Um, well, do we have any question about outbursts of frequency? Acerca de los... Yeah. Uh, acerca de los adverbios, eh, acaba de decir algo que, digamos, sometimes puede ir al inicio como después del pronombre. Uh, puede ir antes del, pro del pronombre, yes. Like this example, right? Y, yeah. Y solo puede ir eh, sometimes o puede ir cualquier adverbio. No, only sometimes. Only sometimes, okay, yeah. Because sometimes it's like you can see here, right? Como pueden ver aquí, sometimes I eat breakfast, right? So, grammatically correct, um, if you put never, I eat breakfast, no suena tan bien, ¿verdad? Pero si usted dice, I never eat breakfast, suena mejor, right? So, guys, my recommendation, mi recomendación es, chicos, si ustedes están aprendiendo inglés, es de que Miren videos, right? Miren videos en inglés, series o cualquier cosa. Y van a escuchar que cuando ellos están hablando, pueden mencionar estas oraciones. Y ustedes siempre van a oír, I never do that, or I never do breakfast. Jamás van a oír, never I eat breakfast, okay? Or often I eat, right? So always it will be like this, okay? Except for sometimes there is, you know, an exception. So now, guys, let's see. Let me move on. Uh, guys, so here we have, you know, another exercise, right? So I know that some of you have finished this, but let's see. For the ones that hasn't finished yet, let's see. Uh, in a chatbot, chicos, ayúdenme con esta, please. Never I play soccer on weekends. Is this correct or incorrect, guys? Es correcta, incorrecta. And why? Okay, let's see. I have here an answer. Okay, then you'll say incorrect. What about the rest? Okay, the rest. Okay, perfect. Marita incorrect, nice. Juan Carlos incorrect, perfect. So let's see. So nice guys, yes, it's Incorrect. Perfect. Now let's see this one. They usually study English at night. Correct or incorrect, guys? Okay. Correct, correct. Perfect. Yeah, it's correct, right? It's totally correct. Now this one. Sometimes she feels very tired. Correct or incorrect? Okay, correct, correct, they say. Okay, perfect. So, guys, if you haven't finished and ustedes aún no han hecho el examen, pues aquí igual pueden ayudar, right? So, he often call her in the morning. So, this one is correct or incorrect, guys? Hey, correct, correct. I have it here. Okay, incorrect. Okay, what did you say? Incorrect, correct. Um, incorrect. Okay, and you listen to me hardly ever, guys. What do you think? The last one, guys. Okay. Okay, correct. So let's see. Okay, we got it here, okay? So all of them are correct, well. All the ones that you told me, todas las que ustedes me dijeron, son correctas. So, perfect, guys. So, well, if you haven't finished the exam, si aún no terminado el examen, chicos, remember, we are doing here, okay? So now, let me move on, okay? 
So I have here something that I want to show you, okay, guys? So let's see. I have this exercise for you. So I need your help, okay? So let's see. We have this one. In what ways manners, okay? In que manera, okay, modales. What do you think it is, I mean, according to this one, guys? ¿Cuál creen que es esta? Aquí me está pidiendo que identifique cuál queda mejor de acuerdo a estas, chicos. Por ejemplo, who, for example, who refers to people, right? Where refers to places, right? But in what ways manners? What do you think is the correct one here? Yes, guys. What do you think? Yes. Do we understand this exercise, guys? Entendemos este ejercicio. Yes, no. No. <laughs> Una pregunta. Yeah. Digamos. Maybe what? ¿Qué significa manners? So, ¿En qué uh, sentido? ¿En qué manera? What? Yeah, exactly. Manners, manners. Uh -huh. yeah. So, well, what do you think? In what ways, what manner? What is ways, formas, right? Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Maybe what? What? Okay, let's see what. No, in this case, it's not what, but we are going to, pero vamos a ver what is this, okay? So now we have things or actions, cosas o acciones. Um, what do you think? Um, Probably uh, what, uh, right? So let's see. It's what, right? Now let's see. Time. Refer to time. What is for time, guys? When. When. Okay. When. Perfect. Now, reason or purpose. What do you think? Okay. Why. Why. Which? Why. Why. Perfect. Why? Reason. Because when I ask, when uso why is because una razón, right? Now we have this one. Person. Ooh. 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 Nice. Now let's see this one. Frequency. How often? Oh. How often? <laughs> and a place, guys. Where? 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 Okay. So... And we have another one, this one. In what ways, man? De que forma? So we have this example. You see, hi, how are you? So you see? Perfect. Now, guys. So I'm really glad. Estoy bastante contento que nos acordemos de las WH questions, okay? So WH questions are really important, guys, because, I mean, that's the way we ask in English, right? So let me share you. Sorry, this is another one. Let me share you guys um, the PowerPoint with this one here I have. So guys, this is WH, well, these are WH questions, right? Where, what, how, when, right? And we use it like this, okay? So first of all, guys, let me ask you something. Do, when do we use do? Para cuando usamos do, guys? Para quienes? Um, para plurales yeah. y primeras personas. Yeah, plurales, primeras personas. For example, guys. I, you. I, you, perfect. They, they, we, 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 perfect with this one. We, and also names, right? Jason, Amanda, right? Like this, right? Do. Sorry, Jason, no, this one, no. So when we are mentioned, Plurals, right? So, for example, uh, for example, we say books, we say tables, okay? 
objects in plural, right? Now, does, when do we use does, guys? She, he, it. She, he, it, tercera persona, exactly. This is singular, right? Singular. So, in that case, era plural, aquí like singular, so decimos book, okay? Singular, table, right? And here we can use so use name, right? Jason, right? Um, and another names, right? So now, guys, we have here how to create a question, right? Let me make it bigger for you. Let's see. Okay, so here, guys, let's see. First of all, we need to add the WH question, right? So let's see. Um, like for example, where, right? Where? Then you have to add do or does depend of the subject, right? So here we have when to use do and does, right? So let's see does, right? Where does a subject, let's see, he. Where does he, then we have, we have to use a pair, right? Where does he, let's see, play and a complement, uh, soccer. So you see? And at the end, guys, that is the most important part. Here I didn't add it, but you have to add the question mark, okay? El signo de interrogación, because that's a question, right? So where does he play, okay? Where does he play? Donde juega el soccer, right? Where does he play soccer? And you can answer, he, es así, chicos, o así? What do you think? Play your plays. Plays. Plays, perfect. Plays. He plays uh, in the park, let's see, okay? In the park, okay? Like this, right? So, well, let's see. Um, well, we have this one. Do you remember, right? The user a and an, right? Um, cuando ahora lo ocupábamos siempre, chicos, antes de una palabra que sonaba como consonante, right? For example, a lamp, a door, a house. Y an, antes de un sonido que era bubble, right? Sonido de vocal. An apple, an elephant, an ice cream, okay? So, perfect. Now, guys, let me move on. Let me share you here, I have it. So we are going to move guys to this part, okay? So let's see, we have who. Who is for what, guys? Who? People. People, perfect. Where? Place. Place. Perfect. When? Time. 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 Let's see. Wait, sorry. Time. Which? What is which? What do you think? Choose. Uh, choose. Choice. 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 Well, oh, yeah. which guys significa cuál, okay? Cuál. Y normalmente which lo utilizamos cuando comparamos dos cosas. Por ejemplo, let's see. I'm. Let's um, look at me, okay? I have this example. I have this too, right? Tengo esas dos gaseosas, right? Let's imagine this is Coca-Cola, right? And this is Pepsi, right? So I say, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one? Which one? ¿Cuál? And you say Pepsi, right? Or Coca, which? Which es cuando comparamos dos cosas, okay? Dos cosas. Significa cuál, okay? In Spanish, pero... Be careful, porque which solo es para dos, pero what, cuando vemos tres cosas, vamos a decir what, ok, what, porque what ya es más, right, más de tres cosas, which va a ser siempre para dos, ok, por eso es un choice, choice es como a uh, escoger, right, choice. Now let's see what, what is for what, guys, <laughs> what is for what? <laughs> Okay, things are object. So let's see. Yeah, perfect. So we got it here, guys. Okay, you see? So this is, you know, this is the part of this exam. Okay, perfect. Now, do we have any questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Yes, no. Yeah, no. A little bit. 
So everything is clear so far, guys. Okay, perfect. So now let me move on, you know. So here, let me share you the screen. Here, guys, this is something extra, right, that I mentioned to you. So adjectives, right? We have some adjectives. So let's see, what do we have adjectives, okay? So let's see, we have adjectives for opinions, right? So for example, get personal opinions about something or someone. We have nice, ugly, lovely. For example, nosotros decimos, he is or she is beautiful, okay? He is ugly, right? So estamos dando una opinión acerca de algo o alguien, right? So if I say, this cell phone is nice, okay? Like this one. And now we have this one. We have shape or size, okay? Forma y peso, right? So we have to describe the way something or somebody looks, okay? Appearance. So we have tall, fat, big, right? So we can say, he's very tall. Or he's fat, okay? Or I am big, okay? Something like that, okay? Now we have this one, age, okay? Age, you know what is age, right? Yeah, that. So you can say old, young, aging. You can say elder as well, younger, okay? Color, okay? Colors are adjectives, okay? So black, yellow, pink. So for example, this cell phone is black, okay? That's an adjective, okay? The teléfono es negro. Or I can say your computer is pink, okay? Something like that. We have origin. So origin is to express where something or someone is coming from. Para expresar de donde algo o alguien viene, right? For example, guys, por ejemplo, cuando vemos en los productos made in China, right? Made in China, que siempre están en todos los productos, right? Or made in Mexico, made in El Salvador, que okay? hecho en, right? Made in. So we have as well this one. Do you remember that we have a homework when we express um, the nationalities? For example, French. He is French. He is Salvadorian, okay? Like this one. And materials, right? To express what something is made, wooden, okay? Madera, seal. We have cotton, algodón, right? So, material, right? Los materiales de lo que algo está hecho, right? And we have purpose, okay? Purpose. So, purpose, for example, is to express something that is useful. So, we have party, dinner. So, for example, I can say, um, Digamos, this balloon, este globo, is for party, okay? It's para la fiesta, right? Party. Now, guys, here I have, you know, how to create an adjective, okay? Como ustedes pueden formar un adjetivo. So, let's look at the first one. Tenemos aquí que primero es un article, okay? Ya conocemos los articles a o an, right? Usted sabe cuando usar a y an ahora, right? So, después cogemos, for example, a profession, right? Tenemos una profesión. Firefighter, doctor, podemos decir también policeman, okay? Y se le agrega una S, right? Luego job, verb to be, y al final va un adjective. So esta forma, chicos, es para describir um, un trabajo, right? Por ejemplo, a firefighter's job is dangerous, okay? Esta parte que ocupamos fighter's job Es posesivo, ¿ok? Esto es posesivo, ¿ok? Es lo mismo que decir esto que está aquí abajo. A firefighter has a dangerous job, ¿ok? A firefighter job is dangerous, ¿ok? Firefighter has a dangerous job. Es the same, ¿ok? Es lo mismo, ¿ok? Pero estas son las dos formas en las que usted puede expresarlo. ¿Ok, guys? Got it? Hasta aquí, chicos. And we have here some Got other it. adjectives, right? So, perfect. Very nice. So now, guys, let me move on. So because time is running, you know. So guys, finally, we have this one, okay? So you remember this one? Esto es lo último que hemos estado viendo en clases, right? Can and cannot, right? So you know when to use it, right? Ya sabemos cuando usarlos, right, chicos? 
lo que podemos usar que en para abilities o por civilities. Recuerden que tuvimos una tarea de que ustedes decían, I can fix a car, but, you know, but I can't fix my motorcycle. So, like this, right? Afirmativo, chicos. Sujeto, can, verbo, complemento, ¿ok? Negativo, sujeto, can't, verbo, complemento. Y para pregunta, can, sujeto, verbo, complement. Y question mark, ¿ok? Question mark. So like this, ¿ok? So, perfect. Now, guys, here, let me move on then. So, let's see. I have it here, guys. The, well, almost the final, right? Almost the last one. Let's see, I have here. So I have this sentence, guy. Let's see who can help me with this one. Let's see, uh, I'm going to choose someone that help me with this one, okay? So, Juan Carlos, tell me, what is the correct answer here? Vamos a ocupar can or can, aquí. I am very hungry, I... Can. can. I can eat everything right now. Estoy bastante hambriento. Puedo comer cualquier cosa hoy. Perfect. No, let's see. Let's choose another one. So let's see. This one. A cheetah run very fast. Uh, Jennifer, help me with this one, please. Can or can't? Okay. Can, okay. Una chita puede correr bastante rápido. Perfect. Now we have here a question. Maria, you help me. So let's see. Um, Edwin, Edwin, help me with this one, please. Can or can't? Can. Can, perfect. Now let's see this one. I do my homework. It's too difficult. Let's see. Um, Jessica, help me with this one, please. Can't. Can't. Negativo. Can't. Okay, perfect. Así se pronuncia, Can't. teacher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. I, I could understand you. Puedo entenderte, yeah. Es can't. Recuerden, chicos, el sonido de la tela final, right? Can't. Perfect, very nice. Now let's see. A baby drive a car. Let's see, Hosman, help me with this one, please. Can't. Can or can't? Can. Uh, sorry, Hosman, the microphone. Can't. Can't. Okay, can't. Sonido negativo, right? So let's see. Here we have a perfect guy. So you see. Here we got it. So guys, let you know, let me help you with the pronunciation one more time. So guys, in sus casetas, ahí, okay, vamos a, you know, a pronunciar this one, okay? Solo la letra de la T, okay? No digan T, pronuncien el sonido. Okay? Y luego digan can't, can't, okay? Can't, the sound. Perfect, guys. Now, you know, We are moving now almost to the last page. So, guys, yo sé que varios de ustedes ya conocen esto, but yesterday, you know, we have some inconvenience with this one. Ayer, varios eh, se les había olvidado how to, you know, work with this one. So, this is the simple, the person simple, right? So, we are going to discuss about the third person singular para las personas que todavía tenemos un poquito de problema, right? Let's see, what do we have here? So, Guys, a simple present, the general rule es que para los verbos que son he, she, well, para los pronombres he, she, and it, a los verbos le vamos a agregar es, right? So, por ejemplo, tenemos aquí el verbo read, reads, write, writes, okay? So, la mayoría de los verbos, chicos, he, she, and it, le vamos a agregar es, right? Pero hay ciertas reglas, chicos. Por ejemplo... Tenemos que los verbos, the verbs ending in Y, for example, this one, bubble plus Y, we are going to add only S, okay? Para los verbos que terminan 
en una vocal y y solo le agregamos s. Por ejemplo, play. You know? Bobo, y, ¿ok? Pero para los que terminan en consonant plus y más la y, le vamos a cambiar la y por una i y le vamos a agregar es, ¿ok? So you see, study, quitamos la y, le agregamos es, ¿ok? Tenemos el verbo cry, ¿ok? Consonant, y, le quitamos el y, i, e, s, ¿ok? Cry, cries. Pero los que tienen una vocal antes, no, ¿ok? Play, plays. Pay, pays, ¿ok? So, let's see this one. So, probably this is the, not the most complicated, but something that is, you know, kind of extensive. Un poco, quizás, a ah, este más que todo es memorizarse, right, guys? So, dice que los verbs ending in O, S, 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 H, C, H, X, and Z, we are going to add only ES. Para los verbos que terminen en estos, chicos, solo le vamos a agregar ES. Por ejemplo, tenemos go, go, goes, kiss, kisses, wash, washes, watch, watches, relax, relaxes, sprites, sprites. Okay? So, guys, you. I need you just to look for this one. Okay? Necesito que nos um, enfoquemos más en esto porque yesterday we made, you know, some mistakes and creo que estamos olvidando esta regla. Okay? And it's very important, okay? So, todos los verbos terminados así, chicos, solo le agregan es, okay? Y estos, los verbos que terminan consonante y, quitan la y y agregan es, okay? So, do we have any questions so far? ¿Hasta aquí tenemos alguna pregunta con esto? ¿No? Okay. Teacher, ¿nos podría compartir esas imágenes? Ah, esta diapositiva. Sure, of course. Esta diapositiva es aparte, pero yes. I can share you. Se las voy a compartir para que lo tengan guardado, ¿ok? So, perfect. So, guys, también tenemos la forma negativa, ¿ok? So, here, aquí es donde muchos se van a confundir, ¿ok? Bueno, se confunde, pero ahora ya no, ¿ok? So, chicos, we have don't and doesn't, ¿ok? So, guys, el does y el do solo lo vamos a utilizar pregunta y en negación, ¿ok? So, let me explain you this one, ¿ok? So, tenemos don't, ¿ok? Don't, ¿ok? Don't siempre va a ser para I, you, we, you, they, ¿ok? I don't cry, you don't cry, ¿ok? Do siempre va a ser para esto, ¿ok? No more. Y doesn't, ¿ok? Doesn't solo es para he, she, or it. Si usted cree que se le va, le cuesta mucho memorizarse el do, solo memorice el doesn't, que es he, she, it, y los demás do, ¿ok? This one, like this. So, we have he doesn't cry. Aquí, chicos, cuando utilizamos el doesn't, ¿ok? El verbo ya no va a llevar S, ¿ok? En negativo, el verbo ya no lleva S, porque la S, la regla ya está complementada aquí, ¿ok? En el does, ¿ok? So, that's why el verbo ya no va a llevar nada de eso. Usted ya no lo va a cambiar el verbo si usted lo hace en negativo y utiliza el does, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Forma interrogativa, chicos. Para interrogativo, very easy, guys. Very easy. Solo mueven el do al principio, ¿ok? Like this, do. Va al sujeto, usted puede poner a, you, we, y el verbo, ¿ok? Simple like that, así de simple, ¿ok? So, do you study? Do you study? Do we study? ¿Ok? Do you play? Do you work? ¿Ok, chicos? Simple like that, ¿ok? Y lo mismo es con el dos, ¿ok? El dos, igual va al principio, pero el dos es para he, she, it, ¿ok? Does he study? Él estudia. Does she study? Does it study? Ok. Easy. Now let's see, guys. I have... Oh, sorry. This one now. So I have this one. Ok, guys. So my daddy every day. So acorde a lo que hemos visto, chicos. ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta? A, B, or C. Yes, guys. Sí. 
La C, sí. Letter C, perfect. Why is C, guys? ¿Por qué C? Es porque doesn't, okay. Doesn't se utiliza para he, she, and it. Y my teddy es, puede ser he or it, right? Porque es él o es eso, right? Now we have this one. Doesn't run. Teníamos estas dos, pero esta no podía ser porque llevaba una S. Y cuando yo ocupamos doesn't, ya no es necesario agregarle S, ¿ok? So that's why is C. Perfect. Now this one, guys. This is a question. Esto es para formar una pregunta. ¿Cuál creen que sería? A, B, or C? A. A, perfect. So does, siempre voy a decir does al principio. Does my teddy run every day? Perfect. Y lo mismo, right? Does, porque es teddy, right? Y porque es singular, right? Y porque es he or it. Y el verbo, porque no tiene que llevar res, S, right? Pero aquí sí lo lleva. That's why is this one. So, does my teddy run every day? Now let's see this one. Vamos a este chico. My brother, a book. What do you think? What is the correct answer? A, B, or C? A. A. Exactly. A, porque a los verbos se le agrega S, right? So, pero aquí también la C lleva S. Pero el verbo original es read, okay? Y dijimos de que ES solo le íbamos a agregar a ciertos verbos, right, chicos? A la mayoría solo es eso. Pero dijimos que ES solo se lo íbamos a agregar a los que, verbos que terminaban así, right? Que terminaron con esta. Y el verbo read termina en D, right? Termina en el D. Así que no, right? It doesn't make sense, right? So, perfect. So, it's letter A. My brother reads. And now let's see this one. This one, guys, A, B, or C? B. B. B, B perfect. B. My brother doesn't read. So, bueno, ya les expliqué cómo es. Ustedes ya entendieron aquí por qué era la B, right? Porque doesn't, my brother is he, right? And it's singular. Nice, guys. So now let's see. What about this, guys? Vamos a esta. ¿Cuál creen que sea? A, B, or C? A. A, a. perfect. A. Yeah. Es A porque a los verbos que le vamos a agregar S solo va a ser a he, she, and it, right? O los singulares, right? Perfect. So nice. And what about this, guys? Y esta? C. Sí. C, sí, porque es don't, right? Don't. Perfect, guys. So now, well, I guess everybody, well, everything is clear about this one. Todo está claro acerca del simple person, porque esto es todo, ¿ok? Eso es todas las reglas del person simple, ¿ok? Ustedes solo es el doesn't, el do, y cómo hacer una pregunta, ¿ok? De ahí no hay nada más de gramática, ¿ok? Solo es eso. So... Les voy a compartir, igual voy a descargar esta presentación. Les voy a mandar esta y también les voy a mandar las otras de esta semana, ¿ok? So, para que la tengamos guardada, right, guys? So, now, guys, let's see, let's move on to the last, you know, uh, exercise that we have for tonight. Oh, it's many. So, let's see, let's make it fast because time is running. So, tenemos este, chicos. You in an apartment. ¿Cuál es la correcta, chicos? Okay. La primera. La primera. Do you live? No. No, porque no. lleva una S, right? No. So, you, right? You do. Do you live? Perfect. Do you live? Now, no, I. ¿Cuál sería, chicos? Don't live. I don't. I live in a house. Now, this one is a question, right? Tenemos it. Para it decíamos que era does. Does. Okay, so. Does. Perfect. Yes, it. Does, it has. does right? Does. That's so nice. You alone? Sería. To live. Yeah, do you live? No, I. 
don't live. I don't live. I don't. I live with my family. Okay, let's see. Oh, there are many guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't live alone. Did you yeah. Have? Well, something, bueno, es como así, right, guys? Las demás igual serían así, right? So, guys, um, let's see. If you have any question, guys, bueno, igual si tienen alguna pregunta, well, something like this, okay? Así, okay? So, guys, um, bueno, um, con esto eh, ya finalizamos the exam a excepción de la primera, que es un listening, que ustedes solo tienen que darle play y les va a decir que enumeren, right? Ustedes solo van a tener que enumerar las imágenes, ¿ok? So, guys, today was the last class. Hoy fue la última clase, chicos. So, well, thank you so much for being here. You know, all the weeks. Gracias por estar aquí toda la semana. Vamos a comer pizza al final, pero no, mentira, no, pero... Ok, chicos, so, fue un gusto tenerlos y... Bueno, esperemos vernos pronto en otros módulos, ¿ok? So, goodbye. Una pregunta. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Gracias, un gusto, profe. Ok. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. See you, Mi pregunta era, eh, digamos, esta es la última clase de este módulo. Yeah, exactly, sí. ¿Y dentro de cuánto van a lanzar el otro? No, eso sí no sé, pero igual siempre les van a estar escribiendo el correo o al WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ustedes siempre tienen que estar pendientes de eso, ¿ok? Ok. So, okay, guys. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. Take care.